Hello, everybody. This is Rob Tepper and Rob Harris with a whole bunch of people here live and listening as we present this uh, coach's orientation. This is the first coach's orientation, and the attendees to this meeting have been invited here by generally by people who are building a MOBE business and have put together a program on top of the MOBE business to make it accessible uh, and beneficial to more people. Um, anybody who is here I think understands that at least on a basic level. And who is among the attendees at this meeting? Uh, it's coaches, people that are already doing coaching, people on our team including Alina and Charlie and Cindy and uh, Jeff is coaching a number of people. Uh, we have Clinton who's coaching. So a number of people who are already out there working with uh, people getting into the uh, mode business and into the online industry. We have many of you who are already generating your own leads and we'll talk about the importance and significance of that as we go. And then we have a number of you who are here who have just recently gone through the MTTD program or are not even quite finished with it yet, who have expressed an interest in being a coach because of the affiliate program that we have put together that incentivizes you to do just that. And you'll be hearing all about that from Rob Harris, who will be presenting most of this uh, material. He was the presenter even of this introduction, but I am re-recording it because it turned out that I had my headset on and I was breathing right into my headset and it was very, very annoying. So I hope you will forgive me for recording this section again, but all of the important stuff will be presented by Mr. Harris. And uh, so let's move on to the next slide. Okay, a little bit about the relationship between global business and marketing solutions, the co-op, and the beta testing program. It is a little confusing, but just to keep it simple, Global Business and Marketing Solutions is a company that was created by myself and Rob Harris. We're both Platinums in the Moog business, and so this is our company, and we created it in order to be able to bring all of these ideas that we're sharing with you into one place. We're sharing them with other Platinums that have their own business, people including Deborah Robertson and Fabiana and Boyan. The idea is that we can essentially joint venture and be stronger together than we could be individually. So the co-op is an opportunity for us to pool our resources and the beta testing program is a creative way that we are bringing, introducing the idea to new people. So without further ado, I will now turn the floor over to Mr. Rob Harris. This is a uh, kind of a position statement that Peter had come up with that explains a little bit about who we are, what we do, why beta testing. And I think it's important that, because I think Peter's done a pretty good job in capturing uh, all the elements of it. So this is a little bit of what the sales page, so this technically is what people are going to be seeing uh, candidates when they click on however they get to this advertisement they want to know something about you know who is this company that's running this running this beta testing program uh, what is their mission who what are they all about why do they need beta testers and you know tell me about this beta testing program so this is uh, an overview of that and we'll get a little bit more into the nuts and bolts of it, but at least you get some idea of how we're positioning global business and marketing solutions. So once the candidate comes in, we have, of course, our promise. So this is what we are provi this is what we are promising them. If they were to enter our beta testing program, there are certain benefits that they would be getting beyond, of course, the hundred dollars. And I think it's important that we understand exactly what we're promising and what we're putting in our collateral materials. So I just want to review that just for a moment because obviously it's all about delivering on our promise. 
Okay, so Experience of High Commissioners program, uh, you'll receive additional support. So it's all about that you're going to get coaching from the uh, the uh, coaching from the MTDB program. Okay, so you not only get coaching from GBMS, uh, you'll also get coaching from the MTTP program. Obviously, you'll receive $100. You'll also be part of an affiliate community. Okay, you'll know more than 98% of the other marketers out there once you complete the better tasting requirements. You'll be working with some of the most talented and motivated marketers in the industry who will work closely to help you get started on the online marketing industry. Okay, free access to resources and tools. And then for those top 20% who do not want to own their online business, there may be job opportunities. So we think it's pretty compelling. Uh, those of you that have gone through or are going through as beta testers obviously have felt this was compelling enough to, to uh, decide to go forward with the testing program. Just want to make sure, since the collateral materials are evolving as we speak, just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page. And this is really talking about you know, what our promise is to them. Their promise to us and what their understanding is, and this was taken from a recent orientation that we had for the beta testers. Some of you may or may not have been part of it, but uh, this is some of, you know, this is what's been taken from the presentation. So it's important that the beta testers know that they're really wearing two hats. They're a consultant that is providing information and reviewing this top tier program. And they're also have they also have a hat as a potential business owner, you know, evaluating this, you know, for themselves. So everything that they provide, uh, or everything that they're looking at, they should be looking through this lens. So this way, the reviews that come back to you on the steps may focus a little bit more specifically uh, with a view that would be meaningful to us and to them. So this will help us kind of hone in on the program and the role that they play, is to really review this as you know, wearing two hats. So you are our consultant. You'll be going through step-by-step -step marketing education program. Provide us with feedback. And of course, your feedback will be used to help us improve this program so you could serve future customers more effectively. This is the expectations that we are saying that uh, as far as communications to and from the beta testers, they'll be filling out surveys providing them to us after they complete each step. There's a final testimonial that will be uh, videoed. And then there will be group meetings at strategic steps in the process. And again, this is all the, the strategic steps is all, being, uh, is all being evolved as we speak. And based on the reviews, we'll determine when we feel that there needs to be kind of this, maybe a group webinar to discuss you know, that specific step because everybody will have the same questions. So we might as well field those questions uh, at the same time. And it's also about managing expectations because, you know, their communication is with the Mo coach and the Mo coach is going to be introducing different things at different times. So it's important, certainly in the beginning, that the coaches manage their expectations and know that there will be offers and expectations that the mob coach will be providing and they shouldn't feel compelled to have to respond and they should also know that this is something that's going to be coming up and they won't be blindsided that hey this this may be a scam or they just wanted me to be, to be a beta tester to introduce them to this program so it's not about that and for people to understand that if you set that expectation from the beginning uh, then they will never leave with that or they, yeah, they would never leave with that as their takeaway, and that's the important thing. So this is the beta testing funnel. So whatever, you know, we have several ideas and strategies on how to approach this and how to bring people to the beta testing program opportunity, and, you know, it's a number of ways. We don't have to get into that today. But basically, they're going to be coming to this squeeze page where everything is going to be uh, presented in a way that you know will uh, will be compelling we hope for people to move on and it's kind of a sales tool to talk about what what the benefits are to the beta tester if they were to accept and, and get into this program 
most of you have seen that already. Again, just trying to give you a visual of how this is going to work because it's been modified a little bit. Okay, so then the autoresponder will take you to the thank you page for, of course, wanting to hear more about it. It will go further into the beta testing program. There is a video. We, th we felt it was important because there were so many people that were on the phones uh, talking to potential beta uh, testers, and each one were trying to describe it in a certain way. Uh, you know, the conversations we found were very, very lengthy, uh, anywhere between a half hour to, uh, to an hour. And in order to make that process a little bit more uniform and to display it in a way that makes sense, we thought it would be wise to put together a video, and Deborah and Lena and Rob Tepper were very instrumental in putting together a video that really takes them from beginning to end. What is the beta testing program? Uh, what is the process? How are we getting involved? How are you getting involved? Again, all trying to uh, manage their expectations on what the program is, who we are, what we expect from you, how we'll be participating with you. And Deborah did a great job. And Deborah's is being modified just a little bit to add a few things in the beginning, talking about GBMS. And that will be part of our presentation that the people who will be answering the ad that we'll be able to get up front so then this way those questions will have been answered and if then they are still interested then there would be a link to a beta tester application much of the beta tester application you've already seen already it is being modified uh, a lot of the, or some of the coaches out there have uh, given us indications that they would like either additional questions on there to help profile the right person uh, or modify the existing questions. So we are working on finalizing that. And once that is completed, then that will be submitted to a thank you page. And if they meet certain criteria, then they will be noted that they have pre-qualified for the program. And this is an important change. Because there have been, uh, there is so much difficulty with uh, trying to reach some of these people. And because uh, some of the people have, you know, really did not have a Skype account, and some of the people had, you know, just different um, skill sets as far as using the computer and using the software, we felt that it was important that this way they would go directly uh, to a place where they would need to be setting up themselves with the coach uh, a follow-up interview. So they would have gone through the beta testing application process. They would be pre-qualified based on certain criteria. And at that point, they would get that notification that you then need to set up an appointment with your coach in order to go through an interview process. And that would then go to the notification would go to the coach and the coach would review the application. Uh, of course, they would have now set up a Skype account, uh, set up an appointment. We'll talk about how people are setting up appointments. A lot of people are doing that already, but it's, order, it's in order to, to have the beta tester be proactive if they're interested in getting involved in the program rather than leaving it to us to contact them within 24 to 48 hours. We felt it was important that they reach out immediately set up an appointment with their coach, and then this way they're committed at a certain day, a certain time. The coach understands who is booked for that time and would be able to review their application uh, before that time and then be able to ask you know, appropriate questions to determine whether or not they, are, uh, they meet the qualifications and standards that we have set to enter our beta testing program. So it, we're trying to automate this. We're trying to speed up the process. We're trying to get a better profile of the person um, that is likely to go through this beta testing program from beginning to end and likely to want more information and to earn a living you know, doing this online. 
So the questions are being geared towards that, having them do some proactive activity in order to gain access to the beta test program. These are all designed to you know, get better qualified candidates to the program. Okay, so now we're on the post-MTDB signing. So once they sign up for the program, there will be an orientation. Some of you have gone through the orientation. We're formalizing that as part of the process. So people will be introduced to that as they come in. We did find that people had kind of started the program without really having a, a general overview of how this is all going to work specifically and how the coaches are going to be communicating with them and re, you know, reviewing the uh, forms or the surveys, just reorienting them to how this is all going to work we felt was important. We did have an orientation. I, uh, last week for some of the candidates and anybody who's entering uh, from this point forward will go through this formal orientation which I think is pretty solid and certainly sets the expect expectations going forward. Once they go through the orientation then they'll of course they'll be submitting their surveys. It's important that the coaches review their surveys certainly are proactive if they're seeing that they're not getting surveys. If there's anything listed in the surveys, I would expect you know, of any concern, uh, I would expect that the coaches would be contacting the beta tester in order to uh, you know, review their concerns, hopefully alleviate their concerns. And at certain points, we will have a, a webinar, like I had mentioned before, where there will be kind of a group meeting. Everybody that gets to, let's say, step six will have a group meeting where the expectations will be uh, laid out in a little bit of a different way of what they're going to be going through and what the MOBE coach is going to be presenting. So, and then later on in the program, uh, there's a point, I believe it's step 15, where there is uh, a business planning section where the MOBE coach is asking you to go through a business planning process. I think that's an important part for us to get involved. I'm going to ask the coaches to speak to whoever their team leader is to get them involved in that. I think that's a very, very important process that's, that needs to be done correctly. We'll be meeting with the team leaders to discuss kind of a format for that uh, process, just so everybody's kind of going through that in the same way. And once they complete the steps, then, of course, there will be this video testimonial. Uh, Alina and I are going through uh, the questions that we would like the candidates to be answering uh, during their testimonial. We think that you know there are certain areas that would be important to cover, such as you know questions relating to the MO program, questions relating to their experience with the MO coach. Uh, questions that relate to their experience in the beta testing program in general and with their coach. I think that's important that the coaches get feedback. So we will be distributing that outline and uh, I think we'll make for a little bit more of a meaningful testimonial for people to be able to evaluate this testing program uh, you know, be before they uh, to decide whether or not they want to proceed. Not only will the video, the original video, discuss the process when they come into the ad, but it'll also have testimonials so people get an understanding of, you know, from the data tester perspective on, you know, what their experience was like. The other piece is uh, on the post 21 steps is extremely important, and that is that there will be uh, kind of an, uh, an interview process with the team leader and with management and with that beta tester to discuss which track that they would like to proceed on. The tracks are as follows, and we had talked about this, but I, you know, over reviewing it again I think is really important. So the beta tester that's gone through this program will either be somebody that wanted the education and will be applying it to their own business, and that's that candidate, the profile of that candidate. The next candidate will be somebody that does want uh, to 
I have a career uh, in online marketing, and either they would want to have a business of their own, and there'll be business ownership, uh, and they have the means to do that, or they uh, want business ownership and they don't have the means, and then we would give them an opportunity and put together a program that is that matches what uh, what their expectations are and when they would want to um, uh, be a, a, the business owner and buy into the MO program. And that program is, is being evaluated right now and being finalized. But again, it's important that this handshake, this meeting take place. We want to make sure that they are pursuing the track that makes sense to them and that we uh, meet their needs where that's concerned. They may say that I want to be a business owner in 90 days, uh, six months, a year. Each one of these timetables, we will have a program that will allow them to, um, to, to meet that goal if they, of course, follow certain steps that we'll be laying out. And once the steps are laid out, then it will be up to the coach to make sure that they continue on that track. The coaches, the expectations that we would have of the coaches that there would be, uh, at the very least, a one-on-one -on -one, uh, weekly meeting with them where they'll be able to gauge the progress. Obviously, this is somewhat new, so management will be involved with the coaches and the team leaders to help facilitate this in the beginning. But that meeting, that uh, at the end of the 21 steps is critically important that people are on the right track and that everybody is on the same page. And then of course the third profile is somebody that you know enjoys online marketing or wants to learn about online marketing but really has uh, no intentions of working on their own, having their own responsibility, they're typically a low risk taker, they just really want to supplement their income or if they don't have an income they're you know looking for an income and our organization would have openings and opportunities you know for those candidates that we feel you know meet certain criteria so again that process at the end of the steps is extremely important and we'll spend a lot more time on that with the coaches and the team leaders roles and responsibilities a lot of people have been asking about this and I felt that it was important that we all get on the same page and it's kind of standardized so for the candidates, obviously the expectation is going to be regular communication. Uh, we've talked about what that looks like. We talked about the review of tracks. Everything about this piece specifically, I think that uh, we've hit on. The only other thing that I would probably add is that at the very least there needs to be a, a weekly communication with them. I suggest having a certain day at a certain time that's on your schedule for that. So then this way, uh, everybody has an expectation. They know they're going to be meeting with their coach at the very least once a week to review where they are, but certainly uh, there's no reason to wait for that. If you see that the reviews are coming in, or the surveys are coming in, uh, in a pace that re you think would make sense to have a meeting before then, then absolutely you know, we'll leave that up to your judgment. But at the very least, we do expect that there'll be a weekly communication with them. It's very important that uh, they feel that you know, there is coaching and we're supporting them during this process and that they're not alone going through this beta testing, but they're working with somebody to assist them. The responsibility that the coaches have to the co-op I think is extremely important. The you know, evaluation of the reviews, I think it's really critical that you read them Obviously, if there's something to talk about you know, with the candidate uh, at a certain level, you would want to do that. But there may be some issues that are alarming that, let's say, reach the next level and you would want to speak to the team leader in order for the team leader to get on the phone because the last thing we want to do is have them proceed or have them, or certainly worst case scenario, is have them stop going through the beta testing program because there's something that they're seeing or hearing that is not comfortable for them. So I would expect that you would reach out and try to nip that in the bud and not let those issues fester. So for that, you know, regular evaluation of the reviews as they come in, 
I think is extremely important. For those people that are also you know, coaches and lead, generator, and lead generators, then uh, it's all about list management. So we started to go through specifically with Charlie and with Cindy and, and, uh, and some of the others what that looks like. Obviously it's very, very important that we're on the same page. You're going to be assigned a list of people, uh, candidates that you would need to reach out to. We're also, uh, you know, we're also developing a process to be able to have coaches abroad in different countries. So this way, the beta testers can speak with those uh, coaches that speak their language. Uh, Alina had brought that up as a critical piece uh, that uh, would make that beta tester feel more comfortable. And I thought it was a great idea. Actually, I did uh, hear that also from some of the other coaches. So. Alina is helping with the list management in order to uh, tag everybody that uh, with the candidates and whoever the coaches are, you know, that speak that language. But as far as just list management in general, Alina and I will be working very regularly on assigning uh, the leads to the specific lead generator slash coach, and. Uh, we will have, you know, of course, one-on-ones that everybody's experiencing now to discuss the leads, discuss the progress, discuss the activity, and most importantly, to discuss the the um, the objections that you're hearing on the phone, because you are going to get people that, uh, after they hear or see the program or during the interview process, that are not feeling comfortable about moving forward. Some of the reasons we can't control, but to the extent that some of them we can control, it's really important that I know what those issues are. But certainly the team leader knows what those issues are so we could modify the video, we could modify the interview process, whatever we need to do in order to make them feel more comfortable and address the issues that we're hearing. And, and that is about collecting objections. So I'm going to ask you, everybody, to please make sure that you capture the objections and you communicate those objections in a meaningful way so we can address those in a very proactive manner. That's the list management. We'll spend a lot more time on that in our one-on-ones. Just want to reach out and, and mention that. The providing of statistics is something that is critically important. Nobody is really being asked at least in a very uh, specific way, to provide uh, uh, critical statistics that will give us an understanding of what's working and what's not working. So we may ask, okay, well, you know, there's a certain amount of leads that have been given to you. How many, pe how many of those clicks were uh, people were interested in the program? How many of those people were not interested in the program? How many of those people were interested but didn't sign up? Um, and so on and so forth. I can go through, there's a lot of metrics that we will be analyzing and Rob Tepper will be sending out a form that people, that the coaches will be filling out on a weekly basis in order to give us that critical data so we can tabulate it and really get a, uh, a top level view on what's working and what's not working. So that is yet to come. I know that uh, Boyan and, and Rob are working on that, so expect that to be coming out very, very soon. Last thing on this is candidate review at the completion to determine appropriate tracks. We've spoken about that. I just wanted to list that th these are the expectations that we have for the coaches on a very regular basis and at key strategic points in order to do these things. Tools. Everybody seems to be using their own tools. Uh, I am not a stickler on you know having to use specific tools. Everybody's comfortable with different uh, things that they've been using. But I think what's most important is that everybody has a tool for scheduling. Now, when I say tools for scheduling, I'm talking about for those candidates that are interested, they will be in a very proactive way going to or being instructed to go to your schedule and to book an appointment with you. So for anybody who isn't familiar with the scheduling uh, software, please let your, let your coach or team leader know about it and they will introduce and get you uh, moving on that. I also think it's important that 
people uh, that are lead generators use a schedule to actually not just lead generators but all coaches. I think it's important that all your one-on-ones are booked in a master schedule. Uh, any proactive activity that you need to do is in a master schedule. I discussed yesterday with uh, Charlie using Google Calendar. That's something that Rob and I use on a regular basis. And this way you get um, you have an overview of what you're doing. You can also plan. You know, I'm very big into uh, having your to-do list and making sure that you plan certain blocks in the day to do any of your strategic work and then of course you have blocks in there set for one-on-one -on -one coaching appointments but it's all laid out this way when you get up in the morning or whenever you get up uh, it's all laid out there so this way people are a little bit more organized I'm just going to encourage you to do that certainly everybody is free to do whatever they want I just have found during my one-on-ones that people haven't been using uh, you know calendar and scheduling tools and I think it's you know, critically important for all the reasons I, I mentioned. So we talked about calendar and uh, as far as the list management goes, uh, Google Docs and some of the other things that we've been using I think is important to, you know, some of you have a different uh, skill level in each one of these uh, tools and I think it's important that everybody try to get on the same page and I encourage you to speak to your team leader in order to accomplish that. Sorry, I was talking, but I was also <laughs> muted. I just also wanted to say that we will do regular trainings on these types of tools. So if there's any in particular that any of you would like to have training on, let us know, and we'll prioritize some of our future trainings that way. But we'll do, you know, we'll try to cover a lot of different areas during the course of the next few months, but we want to start with things that are the highest priority. I know everybody uh, wants to learn about generating traffic. That's obviously a high priority, and there's you know 50 different ways to do that. So we'll be covering those. But when it comes to tools or processes or anything else that you want training on, please you know speak to you, speak to your coach or to one of us so we can put it on the calendar. Okay. Everybody has been asking about. The payment process, timetable, and what have you. Uh, this is my understanding, but Rob Tepper uh, certainly chime in if I'm uh, if I'm not giving accurate information. But my understanding is the following: the way the payment process works is that once there is a sale, so to speak, and it is communicated in my in the back office. The way it works, the way Matt works, is if it comes in, if the sale comes in between the first and the fifteenth of the month, then you will be paid, or that then whoever you're signed up under will be paid by the end, by the thirtieth of that month. Okay, so they do give a fifteen-day window, and then we in turn will be paying you within twenty-four to forty-eight hours. Okay, if the sale comes in, uh, let's say on the 20th of the month, then that means that uh, you will, or the uh, your leader will be getting paid by the 15th of the following month, and then you will be in turn paid, you know, from us within 24 to 48 hours. So that is how it works. Rob, did I get that right? Yes, you got that right. Uh, actually, we've been saying 72 just to allow for a three-day window, but typically it will be 24 to 48. Uh, a lot of people have been asking, you know, kind of a who's who, and who do I contact for what? I think that's a great question, and it's very important that everybody's on the same page. To the extent that uh, people like, excuse me one second, okay, people uh, like a Deborah, Okay, who is an independent or uh, bullion or anybody who is uh, running independently as part of the co-op, obviously, as far as who's responsible for certain things, they will make that determination. Ultimately, they're responsible for. But in general, my wife is calling me <laughs> off the hook. Uh, Rob, can you talk about this just a little bit while I answer this? This must be an emergency. I'm so sorry. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. So as Rob was saying, you know, people that have their own business, people that are platinum and mob, uh, are involved in the co-op, and we're working together, developing this together, and are excited to be all working together um, as it stands right now within this first phase that we're that we're working on we have three platinums that have been in the co-op and that's Deborah Boyan and me and Rob, Rob and Rob being a team. So the three of us and and everybody else who's involved are people that are associated with us in one way or another. And uh, the three of us all agree on this beta testing approach as a great way to um, to build our own businesses. You know, when it comes right down to it, we all have our own businesses, but we are having this joint venture where we created the supercharged uh, affiliate community together, and we have the Rain Trust community. And for those of you who were with us a, a few months back, you know, this all started out as the the goal um, and the the original business model that I came up with was to do a co-op for generating traffic to MOB. And it was only in the middle of December that we decided to use this beta testing program as a way not only to introduce people to MOB, but to build a bigger business because MOB has some limitations. As you know, all of you that are here are here because there is a benefit to the approach that we're taking that allows you to make money without necessarily having the funds or even the desire to you know put thirty thousand dollars into a business but truth is that you know for some people you would like to do that and it's just not the right timing and this model with the beta testing gives us an opportunity as you've seen to be very hands-on with people throughout the process and to help them help you to all make money uh, doing online marketing, working from home, having the independence, all of the goals that we all have together. Um, and for some people, you know, it will ultimately become your own MOB, your own business, which can be uh, centered around MOB or around anything else. But with this group that we have with Deborah, Boyan, and, and myself being Platinum, and then affiliates like Jeff, and Dory, who are working under us, that have also been involved in a co-op to uh, to not only generate leads, but to use this beta testing program as a way to get more qualified people into the program and to help people in a way that Moog can't do on its own. And so that's what we're beta testing. That's what you know, Rob, Rob, and Alina up here that you see on the screen are responsible for from our own Platinum team in MOB and for the business that Rob mentioned that we have the company that we're building. Each of you is welcome to do the same. In this model, we're in inviting you to be part of our business and allowing you to make good money in the process while you're um, learning great marketing from one of the best uh, companies out there, you know, having grown from zero to $20 million in two years and growing the plan to grow to $50 million in the next 12 months, there's going to be some amazing things happening. So this is started out as a strategic way to build, uh, to, to get people to take a look at the MOB business model, but also to build something much more around it that opens up the opportunity for a lot more people. Okay. So here, you know, the key is because people have been asking, okay, well, who do I go to for what? So we're trying to kind of delineate roles and responsibilities between us and, you know, contracts, agreements, tech support, you know, training. I am certainly not a marketing expert, but I'm helping to build out the organization and I'll be responsible for, you know, speaking to many of the coaches and talking about with them, anybody who's involved in the lead generation and all the ad campaigns and the list management, that will be, uh, for the most part, under me. And Aline is going to be working hand-in-hand -hand with me on that. And uh, as far as also Alina, not only helping me on, the, on, the, on that work, she's also having a senior role 
in kind of being the coach's coach. So there's a lot of coaches that are out there that are, you know, had just gone through the beta testing program or not necessarily, but are new to coaching. So Alina is uh, very familiar with, you know, what the expectations are and what some of the issues are that uh, that are heard from the beta testers uh, that are candidates out there or somebody that's going through the beta testing program itself. So I encourage you to reach out to Alina. She is a great resource. She is, I don't have to build her up. Everybody knows that she is a huge asset. So I'm going to say use her, but many of you already do. Extremely important. Spending a lot of time and effort developing this program. Again, I appreciate everybody being so patient because we're trying to move at warp speed, trying to conduct our own business and also develop new business and business models and financial modeling and you know new contracts and new collateral and new website development. There's just so much going on at the same time and I know that most of you understand that, but uh, again, it's, it's all about what does success look like. So let me step back for one second and give you a little bit of a peek into our strategy. So the strategy is that we have started this beta tester program for all the reasons that you already know. And it's all about you know what does success look like? How can we evaluate uh, whether we are successful at this program? Because we're certainly putting a lot of time and resources into this as well as the coaches and the candidates. So every, everybody's putting a lot of time and effort into this. So I think it's important that everybody has an understanding of you know what does success look like? Because everybody is playing a very, very key role into making that happen. So for the candidate, success is a great experience. So it's going through this process, feeling as though educationally they've learned a lot, feeling as though their, their experience of going through the beta testing program was, was smooth, uh, was also, uh, also success would mean that they had a great and meaningful experience with their coach and they felt that the coach really was assisting them through the process to the extent where when they give the testimonial, they are giving very heartfelt that evaluation of you know what this was all about to them and I will tell you that the early testimonials that are coming in that have been shared with me have been extremely positive um, I have been extremely proud of what I'm hearing because people are saying that they have had a great experience they have learned a lot and they thank their coach and everything about uh, that relationship in giving them a feeling like, you know what, this was very, very worth their while. As a matter of fact, not only was it worth $100, but it was worth, you know, a hundred times that at, at a minimum. So that's what success looks like, is having a great experience uh, enjoyed by the candidates. As far as the coaches go, success is where people are coming into the program, People are having a good experience, and of course, they're upgrading. They're, they feel that they want more. They feel that the license rights program is important for them. They do want to get involved. They do want to uh, get involved in going uh, titanium or platinum, and that's all about you know the candidates being happy. So if the candidates are happy, then they are a lot more likely to want to move on. Then, of course, the coaches see that they're moving on and they're making money in the process. So everything is you know, working together all the time. So again, candidates' experience uh, is positive. The coaches' experience will be positive. And the third part is that the people that are considering joining the co-op will see statistics and data that will be consistent with what we're experiencing because at the end of the day we're going to be rolling this out and we're looking at a 30 day to 45 day time period where we're kind of you know beta testing this whole program beta testing the beta testing program and what we hope to see is that the statistics that come out of this show that 
it is much more compelling to be part of this co-op than any other either co-op or um, or um, really what they could do on their own if they were not part of the co-op. So it's not just that it's traffic, but it's also once people get in that our coaches and the experience that people have will make them much more likely to upgrade. So if we have data that will support that, then there are more people that join the co-op, and then there will be more resources to put into more training, and uh, you know, we'll be able to have more value-added services that we provide people that are part of not just the co-op, but the larger brain trust community. So that's what success looks like. It all starts from the candidate's experience and moves up from there. So we should know the success of this at each point along the way, from the early reviews to the handshake at the end of the 21 steps, uh, to keeping them on a track that meets their personal needs. And then if we do all of those things, then the numbers will speak for themselves. So this is what we'll be evaluating. Everything is very, very connected at all levels. So. In closing, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for attending. I want to welcome those new members uh, as coaches uh, or to be coaches. I want to also thank, especially thank Rob Tepper, our fearless leader, because we certainly would not be here without him. And I will also say that there's a special thanks to all the people that have been part of this from the very beginning. I don't want to leave anybody out, but certainly Cindy, Charlie, Peter, uh, Deborah, Alina, um, Rob, please help me. There's a lot more people who have been involved. Jeff, Ackerman, Clinton. Uh, you know, just so many people that have helped us to not just realize what the holes are in the program and how we could help and support but you know what this looks like, whether it's the orientation, or the slide presentations, uh, new ideas, uh, you name it, uh, we could not be here without you. So I, I thank you so much, and I encourage everybody to give us uh, their critical feedback. Uh, I, we benefit tremendously from hearing not just, of course, what's working, but how we can improve it. So I, I ask you, please, to give us that feedback. I don't take anything personal. Is it's all in the best interest for making the program better. And that's what it's all about. And everybody having a great experience, but not just that. At the end of the day, we all want to be successful business owners and reach our potential and whatever our personal goals are.